Over the past night, Russian air defense systems shot down 35 Vampire and Alder MLRS shells, as well as three drones in the sky over the Belgorod region, the press service of the Russian Ministry of Defense reported. Over the past night, an attempt by the Kiev regime to carry out a terrorist attack using the Vilka multiple launch rocket system, the Vampire multiple launch rocket system and an aircraft type UAV on targets on the territory of the Russian Federation was stopped. The air defense systems on duty were three Vilka MLRS rockets, 32 Vampire MLRS rockets and three UAVs were destroyed over the territory of the Belgorod region, the report says. Let us remind you that Ukrainian troops regularly shell and attack in various ways, including through UAVs, the border regions of the Russian Federation, in particular the Belgorod, Bryansk, Kursk and Voronezh regions. Earlier, the governor of the Belgorod region, Vyacheslav Gladkov, reported that the territories of two children's camps were damaged by the strike of Ukrainian militants. According to preliminary data, no victims. The day before, in Graveron, Belgorod region, a kamikaze drone attacked a car at a gas station, a gas station employee was injured. Also, as a result of the attack on the village of Belenkoi in the Belgorod region, one was killed and another was injured. In addition, due to an attack by a Ukrainian drone on an electric train, the movement of commuter trains was stopped. Russians are storming the positions of the Ukrainian army in rare and old BTR-50s. Russia is using a poorly protected BTR-50 from the 1950s in the war against Ukraine. The 70-year-old armored personnel carrier may not be the worst equipment the Russian army has sent in a direct attack on Ukrainian positions, but it is perhaps the oldest. Forbes writes about this. While it is safer for Russian troops to ride a 70-year-old BTR-50 with 10mm armor than, say, the Chinese golf carts that have been spotted on the front lines many times, the use of these armored personnel carriers is an ominous sign for Russia in its 28th month war against Ukraine. Without mechanized units fully equipped with proper combat vehicles, such as tanks, achieving a quick and decisive breakthrough of the defense will be very difficult. This limitation will likely lead to slower and more limited advances, which will hinder the overall advance of Russian forces, explains the analytical group Frontelligence Insight. It is noted that the BTR-50 is a 15-ton armored personnel carrier that runs on diesel fuel. The crew consists of two people and the armored personnel carrier can carry up to 20 passengers in total with a capacity of up to 20 passengers. It is usually equipped with a heavy machine gun. The Soviet Union developed the BTR-50 back in the early 1950s. It entered service in 1954 and for the next 12 years was the main fighting vehicle of the Soviet Army. The crews of the BTR-50 carried soldiers into battle, covered them during the landing and then supported them with a machine gun. However, even by the standards of the 1960s, the armor of the BTR-50 was thin and this vehicle was also not the best armed. When the heavier and better armed BMP-1 debuted in 1966, thousands of BTR-50s were deployed to second line units. The armored personnel carriers transported artillery, engineering units and anti-aircraft guns until MTLB tractors began to displace the old vehicles from these tasks as well, says the publication. The Russian military made little use of the BTR-50 until about 15 months after the full-scale invasion of Ukraine, when the monthly losses of modern armored personnel carriers of the aggressor country exceeded the monthly production of sufficiently modern replacement vehicles. The Kremlin began removing the BTR-50 from open storage in early 2023. It appears that the Russian command initially used these vehicles for rear support and kept them away from the front line. But then, at the end of 2023, BTR-50s began to appear as part of Russian assault groups in eastern Ukraine. Marine drones of the Ukraine Sea Baby are now equipped with GRAD systems and are already actively minus occupiers. Last night, Sea Baby, together with the Navy, was effectively transported from the sea according to the positions of the Russians on the Kinban Spit. Our Sea Baby is not just a drone, but a richly functional platform that can be gradually improved. 
And today we can confirm that they are equipped with a salvo fire rocket system and this technological solution is already showing consistent results. So the enemy is on the lookout for new surprises. Pratsiwimo, as always effective, said Ukrainian army. The successful operation of Ukrainian unmanned surface vessels against enemy ships and infrastructure has drastically changed the situation in the Black Sea. The situation at sea has changed dramatically since the large-scale invasion began, and Russian ships no longer feel free in the western and southwestern part of the Black Sea. Sea Baby Drone, used by Ukraine's state security service for special operations, is capable of carrying 850 kilograms of explosives. At the same time, a missile from the S-300 system has a warhead of 150 kilograms, and such a projectile can destroy an entire section of a five-story building. At the same time, a caliber cruise missile has a warhead of 450 kilograms and can destroy a whole building.